Hi everyone. I want to start going over the articles for this week, so I want to just do one at a time in these quick videos. So the first one is Propaganda, How Not to Be Bamboozled. So that title alone should tell you the author's purpose, right? What is his purpose in writing this? To inform us of the many different pitfalls that may deceive us if we are unaware. That's really his purpose in writing this. Um, now when you hear the word propaganda, what comes to your mind? I know for me, I think bad, negative trying to tell me what to do, trying to force me to buy something, trying to give me false information, misleading. Um, I think of all that. Dishonesty, those are the things that come to my mind right away. Um, and I'm sure a lot of us do, because the term propaganda is kind of a loaded term. But what he's saying, and what I think is really interesting, is it's actually a means of persuasion. It's not necessarily negative. It can be used both positively and negatively, depending on how it's used and by whom it's used. Um, so pop propaganda could actually lead us to donate money for a good cause. You know, you see a commercial on TV, some of that is propaganda because they're trying to persuade us to do something, right? They're trying to play on our emotions, um, our sympathy, right? Our empathy for a situation or for animals or for children or for anything. Um, and that could be a good thing because they're getting, they're tugging at our heartstrings, they're getting us to donate and do something good. Um, the same could be said for recycling, right? Uh, propaganda could be used for that, you know, showing us how um, every, everything we do counts, how every, you know, plastic bottle is being, you know, thrown into the ocean. They'll make, you know, they'll show wildlife being affected, they'll show carbon emissions. Um, and then, you know, not just a commercial, but maybe articles you've read or news articles you've seen. Um, even, you know, Speakers, people who speak might be talking like that. That is a form of propaganda because it's a form of persuasion according to the author. Um, so it's not always negative. It could be positive. But too often we see the negative side of propaganda. Way too often, right? And basically we'll see this a lot of times in politics. We'll see this a lot of times in the news. Um, we'll see this in advertising a lot. This is Advertising is very big on propaganda. Um, you'll see a commercial, right, for um, Burger King or McDonald's on TV. You'll see that perfect burger. You'll see it sizzling off the grill. You'll see the fresh bun. You'll see the vegetable, you know, the lettuce and tomato looking all plump and fresh and bright green and red, right? Um, and it'll look like the best burger ever. And then they'll tell you something like, um, you know, I'm loving it, right, or something to make you want it more. Um, McDonald's always did Happy Meals for kids, right? That was another method of propaganda, right? You buy from us, you get a Happy Meal. You get to play, or right now we can't, but kids get to play, right, in McDonald's if they come in. Propaganda, right? Getting your customers in by a means of persuasion. Um, and also you'll see this with politics. You know, politicians making promises, promises that maybe they can keep and maybe they can't keep. Um, how do we know what's real and what's propaganda? Um, you know, they're persuading, right? And unfortunately, too often, we're persuaded to things that are not true. So, his thesis, which is actually in the final paragraph, which is interesting, because usually you'll see the thesis at the opening, um, but the thesis is at the end. And what it says is, if we are to be led, let us not be blindly but critically, intelligently, and with our eyes open. So basically, propaganda is not going away. We all agree. The author agrees. We all know this. But if we are to be led, right, if it's going to exist, let us not be blind about it. Let us be aware. Let us be intelligent. Let us have our eyes open. Let us know what's happening, why it's happening, and then make our own decision, right? Um, so his method, his writing style is methodical and he uses categories to explain it. So I think he does accomplish his purpose in doing so. Um, and I'd like to see what you all think about this. So post your um, answers on the discussion board for all the questions.